So this is um, an onboard 2.2 uh, kilowatt uh, mains grid charger for my LTO uh, blocks. Now this is uh, sort of semi-portable. I didn't want to carry it around with me all the time. If I decide to go away somewhere and I want to do grid charging while I'm away, then I can take this with me. Now this is uh, not quite the final layout, but you get the idea and it's built onto this piece of 9mm ply. So this is the um, lithium enabled Zivan uh, charger. It's, I've set it to output 180 volts, uh, which is 2.5 volts per cell, per 72 volts. So the charger itself will, will hold the voltage once it gets to 180 volts. So it's incapable of charging them above 2.5 volts per cell, assuming they're all matched, of course. Uh, so this extra wire here is also for a proportional control which I might implement later on based on the pulse width modulation so you can vary the voltage uh, using pulse width modulation. Um, so this is the main output wires. So onto my um, uh, LTO car I've actually put an Anderson connector like this and it comes up out of the back or into the cubby hole and uh, if I want to plug in then obviously I can pull the pull this out of the cubby hole and this sits on the back shelf of course and you just plug this in. But this needs lots of uh, cooling because it's quite a big powerful thing, some big fans and I don't really want this buried away inside the IPU case or compartment or down the sides because it needs to have cooling and I don't want to carry it around with me all the time. So then we have, uh, this is a solid state relay, this is controllable by just a 5 volt logic signal, so this is going to be connected to the OBD2 CNC. This is a 12 volt power supply to power the OBD2 CNC when the car is off. Um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add, connect all the wires up to this um, OBD port here so that I can basically disconnect my um, uh, CAN cells an OBD2 CNC from the car and just plug it, plug it into here and then it, and then it can go into charging mode and then it can be in control of the charging and in control of the uh, charger here. So obviously once you press a button on the OBD2 CNC it will engage the um, high, high current relay here and then that will turn the charger on and then obviously if a cell goes over voltage the OBD2 CNC can turn this off and that will kill the charger and also if the charger reaches its maximum output voltage which we've already preset 180 then obviously that will also terminate the charging and when the terminate and charging reaches the set time that will also terminate the charging and this is just a mains um, male inlet sockets over the 16 amp round connectors we use here for caravan so I've actually ordered a, um, a panel mounting one which will go here so basically you'll just plug in your mains into this, this will all be covered over eventually and then this will all take care of the mains charging. So this is a mains charging solution, quite a powerful one, this outputs about uh, 17, 18, 18 amps. So basically you're looking at a one hour charge time for the 72 cell pack which is pretty good and uh, we'll see how it works out in practice but I'm just waiting for a few parts to arrive before I finally put it together.